Hi. Oh, this is Millie. Say hi, her first YouTube video ever. Hello, what's up guys? It's Katie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm out of breath, I don't know why, I was just chasing her around. Today, I'm gonna do a little what I eat in a day and I am actually ready to go. I'm headed out right now. I have to teach a workout class this morning. I'm really excited about it. I'm going on to UCLA campus, doing a little workout class. My first thing to fuel my body, I'm going to eat some egg salad. I prepped it actually um, yesterday. So we're gonna eat some egg salad. And then I'm really excited because like the rest of the day, I'm just like working from home. So I thought, why not do a little what I eat in a day when I am home and I have time to cook myself my meals. Also on that note, I just want to remind you guys for the 50th time, if you guys have ever seen one of my eat in a days or like follow me on any other social media, um, my what I eat in a day is just an inspiration for some meals. This is literally what I have when I can cook myself and I have the prep time. Um, every single day truly is some so different. So just take this as what I'm eating today and some inspiration for your meals. All right, let's get into the video. If you guys follow me on any other platform, you guys know I'm obsessed with my egg salad. So I honestly love to meal prep it for the week. It's great as a breakfast. I sometimes eat the egg salad like right before my Instagram lives or my app live workouts. Uh, just super quick to have in the refrigerator to get some great fuel in, uh, great meal prep breakfast. So I'm just placing the eggs right now after I boiled them for about 14-ish minutes right away in some ice water. After the eggs are pretty chilly, I actually just like leave them in this ice water. The ice is now melted and it's so easy to take the shell off when it's still submerged under. Now you just like kind of dunk it as you peel and there's like no shells left. So that's what I like to do. And then to actually make sure I don't use too many dishes, I just rinse out the bowl that I was using, have the eggs and separate them. Now, I know a lot of egg salads like don't usually separate the egg white from the yolk but for me it is like so crucial to have the creamiest like almost like dressing with the egg whites and then all the fixins we got relish mustard and mayo also i like to do like half and half of like the veganese and then the real thing the exact recipes on my site okay nice and creamy then i'm just going to dice up the egg whites it doesn't have to look perfect you guys all right i'm going to toss the egg whites in now this is totally optional i just do a tiny bit of garlic powder just for a tiny garlic flavor I do a lot of pepper and of course some salt. And also if you guys have dill at home, dill in this is so good, but also, you know, that relish is also really great for the dill flavoring. Then I don't know why this looks like so scrunched and small or weird, but um, I'm having a little bit of sourdough toast, butter. I like a lot of butter with my toast. And then I did a little bit of cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. Can never decide, so we've got to go half and half. Okay, I am gonna do something with zucchini. I mean, <laughs> an eggplant. This is now obviously an eggplant. I just got back from my workout class and I've been trying to find a lot more like nutrient dense snacks. That's why I also love egg salad because I feel like it can be a snack. Um, and I know a lot of the times like me making like an eggplant snack is like not realistic. Um, snacks on the go, but I do have time right now. So I'm trying my best not to like go to chips because that's all I want right now. Um, and that's my usual is like chips or like a protein bar or something like that. So I'm trying to find more fresh snacks. So I'm gonna just saute this eggplant and uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna try to put like a miso soy sauce in it. I don't know. I'm so freaking hungry. Oop. And I'm just like microwaving some rice right now to go inside of it. Do some soy sauce here, just a little sprinkle. My absolute favorite, sesame oil. Gosh, I love sesame oil and everything. I literally put it, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> 
don't use that much. Um, I do put in a lot of salads though. It just makes, oh, it, I'm so hungry right now that I, <laughs> I'm really just not doing well. Anyways, a little bit of miso. I just love microwave white rice. It's so easy. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit and then I'm actually gonna save probably the rest of it for tomorrow. All right, now that the rice is in there, I feel like I want an egg in this. This is like not turning into a snack, by the way, too, like a small mini meal. But <laughs> I do this all the time. Um, I do this all the time. She's crazy. Wow, she's wild. She's having a small meal as a snack. I just really think an egg would do really well in it. It's gonna be like a really easy, quick eggplant fried rice with three ingredients. Literally the most random snack ever. <laughs> Top with some sesame seeds. Just so good. As I'm eating this, I have gone through like seven moods today. I've been so happy. And right now I'm like kind of sad. I'm on my period. I should probably also reiterate that. <laughs> if you're watching this, you are not alone if you switch your mood about seven times in a day. I mean, sometimes maybe I just need food. I'm gonna check back in in a few minutes after I eat this, like, I get so dang hangry. Clearly not the best vlogger here because I am basically done with this yogurt. Um, and I literally just remembered I'm doing what I eat in a day today. So this is a snack that I'm having. It is the Faye uh, split cup with honey right here. So only a few left, but basically I really love it because you see, gosh, it's gonna fall over, but like you see the honey and you just get a little yogurt at the same time. It's great for a sweet tooth. All right, just make sure your hands are clean. <laughs> so right now I'm making some avocado pudding and it's gonna be like a chocolate flavor. You honestly don't even really taste avocado. So I'm doing one, oopsie. <laughs> doing one whole avocado. These are my other ingredients. We got coconut milk, a little bit of maple syrup. I'm gonna top with these raspberries. We also have some vanilla extract, coconut milk. Just making sure I got some of that liquid in there. One third cup of cacao powder. A little bit of maple syrup, whatever I really have left to be honest. A tiny bit of vanilla extract. Blend it on up. You actually cannot taste the avocado. It's so freaking good and thick. Oh my God. I'm gonna just put it in the refrigerator for a little bit so it can thicken just a tad. And then I'm actually gonna top it off with this whipped cream. This is what it looks like after I refrigerated it. It just becomes a little bit thicker, more like fudge-like. Plus, I will say, you won't eat this whole thing. You can save it or share it with someone. I only really had like four bites of it for dessert because the flavor is super rich. Then for dinner, I made this marinade. Um, I actually made it earlier on as well so that the steak can sit in it. I did a little bit of like a soy sauce with Worcestershire sauce, red wine vinegar, a little bit of like gray poupon, garlic, and lemon. Um, I just feel like throwing a lot of different of these types of flavors is always just so good for a steak as well. Almost kind of like an Asian style, but not too soy saucy. Then I threw the marinade in with the steak that I chopped up okay, with I'm some broccoli. I add a little bit of flour to thicken it, thicken it um, to make it more sauce-like. So I consider this like a, um, I don't know, beef and broccoli. It. So freaking so good, you guys. You guys can put too. this over rice or cauliflower oh, rice. I actually used the rest of the microwave rice from earlier and just threw in some frozen peas and carrots for some extra nutrients in there and I threw the beef and broccoli on top. The rice doesn't need too much seasoning because that sauce from the beef and broccoli is so good. My fiance said this is one of his favorite meals to add to the weekly rotation. Well, it looks so bad. I fully forgot to finish that video last night. Um, and that's why I'm not the best vlogger in the world. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.